Hey, welcome. We're going to do some burritos. I don't know if you've ever been to Guzman and Gomez. They make these amazing burritos and you kind of, you can order whatever. We're going to do a couple of versions. We've got a chicken version, which I've pre-cooked that chicken breast, had that left over. It's, it's about beans and rice and uh, onion. We're going to do some beef as well. But just before I start, I just want to show you, these are the really cool little rocky breads. You could use any kind of wraps, um, kind of wraps. But with these rocky breads, they're frozen. Take them out and just, oh, that did not work. Um, what you want to do is just heat them up. You can see them, I've got some preheated there. We're going to wrap those. So it's a simple process. I want us to, I've got that heating as well. That's a bit hot. So just a bit of oil in there. This is just for the onion. We're going to do a couple of bits in here. I'm going to keep my eye on that burrito. Uh, just cook up some onion. Briefly just kind of cook that through. I'm going to put a bit of garlic in with that. Now you'll see that my rice is already cooked. So the rice is cooked, cool it down a little bit. You just want to kind of manage that. And you're just going to pack it in. Let's not put too much garlic in because I overdo garlic. Uh, and just literally, quickly just getting that off. Now with the beans, we've got a couple of options there. We're going to use a black bean and a lentil. So black beans and lentils, and we're going to mix the rice in with it as well. Okay? You don't need to use all of it. Black beans. So I just want to cook these a little bit. I mean, they're, they're literally out of the can, so they're probably okay to just go like that. But just to give them a little bit of flavour, that garlic and that onion back here. Make sure that's done. That's beautiful. Okay. Let's see how that pops up. Just done a bit of uh, our foil just to keep that going. And now with this here, I'm going to cook really quickly. And most people know if when you're cooking beef strips, you do it really quick on really high heat. Okay, so high heat, a bit of oil just to help with it. And I've got some just little beef strips here. Uh, again, quick process, quick turnover. I'm not going to put those tongs in the pan because that'll scratch the pan. We don't need all that blood in it. Okay. So, put that aside. Just give them a stir. I'm about to add some rice to that. Look that shitty. So, really is quick process. Okay, you want to keep your eye on this. This is more important. You don't want to overcook the meat because it goes tough. Okay, so really just a quick process. You see that? See that? That's literally sizzling beef, and that'll keep cooking, right? So I'm literally just turn that heat off, move it off the heat. It's bloody hot. Move it off the heat because that is still cooking, right? Okay, just back here with this, that's on a kind of a lower heat. Just spooning in that rice. So this rice becomes the filler for the burrito. Okay, so just spoon that in. Fork that in, you can see there. Um, just getting all that in there. Now I actually cook this rice in the microwave for about 20 minutes with coconut uh, milk. You don't have to, you can just do it with water. But I like to get that kind of nice flavour. Now I'm going to put a, a few of those. Just a bit of, again, whatever you want to put in. Just got some coriander here. We're going to add. And this becomes the majority of the kind of the filler of the burrito. And we'll mix things like cheese in it, a, a kind of a salsa dip to kind of Give it that extra flavour. Again, make them however you want, wrapped in those beautiful little uh, rocky breads or cornflour, whatever it is. So it's as simple as that. And then, as I said, you add in, whether it's the beef or the chicken, and, and roll them all up. You can put avocado or even some sour cream as well. So we'll do a couple of those, roll them up, and we'll show you what they look like. Yeah. You can see that uh, it's still steamed, pretty hot. The, the rice with those beans and the onion and the coriander. Put a squeeze a little bit of salt in there. There's your the beef. Put a bit of pepper, a little bit of salt on that. That's just beautifully cooked. That's nice and soft. That's exactly where you want it. When you're going to do the chicken ones, I'll heat that up. Got some chilli there, got some salsa. These are the little uh, rotties. So this is the process I want us to kind of follow. Okay, so literally just 
making the burrito. But don't overdo it, like we do with all these things, we try and overpack them. Okay, so let's just show what this is going to look like. And we're going to do a little beef one here. Okay, so just a couple of bits of the beef. Just don't know, like this. A little bit of the cheese. Again, that'll hopefully melt because it's still pretty hot there. A little bit of that. Uh, the, 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 what do you call stuff? Sour cream. You don't have to put the sour cream in, of course. Um, you can just do it plain. And then a couple little bits of avocado. Now, if you're like me, I do enjoy a little bit of heat. So there's that salsa too, just a tiny bit of that salsa. This is all going to mix through anyway. It's like a Greek souvlaki. And um, a couple of bits of heat. Okay, again, of course you don't have to put the heat in if you don't want to. And what you want to do is just, like anything, if it was too loaded, you wouldn't be able to do this. That's your burrito right there. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Nicely done. If you're presenting, you might even put a little toothpick in there as well. Um, that's it. Same process. You want to do it with the chicken or whatever else you want to do. Um, mix them up, play with it. Want lots of beautiful stuff in there. Um, you could even, if you wanted to, you could put some of that salsa in there. It depends on how much people like the hot salsa or the medium salsa, whatever it looks like. So I leave it out and let it kind of soak it through there.